hey y'all so it is a new day today is actually tuesday and we about to have a little transparent moment if we've been honest y'all i woke up yesterday mondays i always have like monday blues i've been dealing with this for the past couple months um monday blues is when i have i wake up on mondays with anxiety i feel a lot of anxiety i feel anxious and i at this point i'm not gonna say i'm used to it but i expect it on mondays and on mondays it's like a total self-care day the whole day because i kind of like need i need that time because the monday blues get me um i woke up today and i was it kind of like spilled over into today so today is not a bad day but it's not a good day i just feel like i really need to get out the house if you are a creator you know you especially like if you're full-time i'm currently not full-time if you're a creator or you work from home i would definitely recommend get out get out the house if it's for 30 minutes get out the house go for a ride go for a walk go to the gym go to the store just get out of your house and go do something so i'm about to go for a walk it is hot outside but i need um i need to walk every time i try to go for a walk it is um too hot outside but today i'm going to take my water and i'm going to just deal with the heat because me getting outside in nature is very important for me i try to do it at least in the fall i get outside every single day seven days a week i go walk every day it's, and i don't do it for like health i do it for my mental health um I'm, so i'm not walking to like lose weight or anything anytime i go walk it is for my mental health i don't listen to music i don't be on my phone i don't even take my phone and leave it in the car and i just literally clear my mind and center myself and i'm really I need that right now by being so hot i haven't really been able to do that because y'all it's 103 103 degrees today but i don't care i need to go walk i'm going to just deal with the heat i definitely need to get out so that's what i'm about to do i need a little self-care and i will probably see you guys later i'm not sure when i just know right now in this moment i need to get out the house and i need some self-care so that's my spill, girl. I don't know if y'all care, but for the outfit, I have on this Target bralette. I didn't want to wear all black, so I broke it up with this Target sports bra, but it looked like a top. And in the back, they have like a little opening. I have on these yoga leggings that I've been having for years. I wish I can find more of these. These are my favorite. I picked these up from Marshalls a long time ago. I got on that little Marshalls bag, little lemon hat, Fendi glasses, and we're out of here. At 44 minutes to four, an angel walked up to my door. Hoping no one looks at my soul. Told me he think that I should know there's no slowing down. As the globe spins around and around, you gotta keep going. 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 y'all when i tell y'all i love the lamp so much girl so come to find out it did not take a special um light bulb it took a candelabra light bulb and i found that out <laughs> at home depot but girl i love it now with lamps i'm very picky on lighting hold on one second okay so i'm very picky on lighting when it comes to lamps originally i purchased a 40 watt light bulb for this lamp I feel like a lamp should give you a nice ambiance. It should not light up a whole room unless that's what you're going for. When I pick a lamp, I'm always looking for something that will add to a nice ambiance. So kind of like these lamps. Uh, let's see. See how it just adds a nice little touch, a nice little ambiance. It's not at its max, I believe. Hold on. Y'all can't really tell, but that's like the max. I never use it at the max. I always bring it all the way down just to give a nice sultry ambiance. With this lamp, I originally purchased the 40 watts, the 40 watt light bulb, but I did do soft white. It was too bright and it was just like distracting. It did not give an ambiance. So I switched the light bulb out for a 15 watt light bulb. And instead of doing two, I did one. And it, when I tell y'all it is, hold on, let me move. Oh girl, I'm, I'm trying to step on a carpet because I don't want to ruin my, <laughs> I don't want to ruin my, what is this vacuum lines? I'm a picture girl. I'm gonna still be messing around with this and switching things around. I have to have pictures on display. It's just like a thing. Every time I walk past pictures, it's just so, 
I don't know, homey and cozy to me. I still want my home to look like a home. I don't want it to look like a stage house where you go into or you go to like a display home or something like that. I still want to feel like this is my home. So all around my apartment, I do have pictures. So I had to leave pictures out on display. So I just wanted to update y'all and tell y'all the lamp is amazing. And girl, yeah, I told y'all I was gonna make her work, okay? Oh my God, y'all. I'm not gonna show y'all what I have on, but let's just say I just opened my um, dress from the, for the Renaissance tour. Y'all, it is everything that I wanted it to be. And guess what? It fits like a glove. Now, I had to struggle a little to put her on because she did not fit over my butt. So I just put it over my head and we did a little shimmy. By the time Renaissance come, I'm sure I'll shed a few pounds because y'all know I'm like working out crazy over here. Oh girl, she is giving everything that I wanted her to give, okay? So, the renaissance look is coming together. Morning girlfriends, it is the next day. It is probably 7 a.m. now. And I'm up, shout out to, first of all, shout out to all the girls who went and purchased the off-white robe. She's comfy. Like when you get this in um, the mail, you're gonna love it. Ever since I opened the um, robe, y'all, I've been living in a robe. Y'all know I'm a, a pajama girl, but lately I've literally been living in the um, off-white robe and i'm also drinking my kombucha this is the one that i showed y'all in my last vlog the one my sister put me on the health aid the belly ginger pineapple belly reset y'all i'm obsessed so i actually want to run out to target this morning and pick up a few more of those also i want to show y'all something this is one of the dresses that i was going to wear to renaissance y'all she is everything okay so with this dress i am sending this one back i did order it in a size 12 because i feel like the what size is this this is a a 10 the 10 is a little snug and i'm gonna show y'all how it look on me so i did order the 12 because she's everything now i'm not wearing this to renaissance but hold on i'm not wearing this to renaissance i'm trying to turn the camera down so y'all can see the color i'm gonna turn it all the way down this is like the true color gorgeous right so i'm not wearing this to renaissance but i can't send it back because this is everything okay i feel like this is something i could wear to a party i could wear it out whatever i'm not sending it back i feel like it's fun to have in a wardrobe but i am sending this one back i'm sorry sending this one back to get i already ordered a larger size y'all i also got a package that i wanted to open with y'all y'all know monday through friday i literally live in workout clothes so i did order what i want to sit you guys hmm. hold on i'm about to put y'all on a drive out so i did pick up a few new pieces from old navy now y'all know my last vlog i showed y'all that black one shoulder top everybody was asking me where did i get it from before y'all ask me where do I get things from, definitely check the um, description box for links. If I don't link it, then feel free to ask. But most likely, it's going to be linked in the um, description box. I'm going to link these items too. So, I love that top so much and I always wear a black. And lately, I've been like mix and matching. I think they sent me the wrong thing, but I don't know if I'm going to be mad at this. Um... I've been mixing and matching my workout clothes. Like, I may well wear a blue top with some black pants and just accessorize it. I just broke my nail. Wow. But anyways, I went back to Old Navy because they always have a great sale on their workout or active wear. And when I tell y'all I love their workout clothes. So I got the cream. I thought it was going to be white. I'm happy it's not. It's like cream. And in the inside, it's like this gorgeous color. So I got the cream one shoulder top, mm -hmm. real cute. And then I also got it in pink. Now I'm not a pink girl, but lately I've been trying things out. Ever since Target started releasing all of these cute workout clothes, I was like, mm, let me try it. And I'm not mad at it, okay? So I got the pink also, perfect for right now on theme with like the Barbie thing. And with the pink, I was like, if we are gonna do, do pink, we might as well go ahead and just do it and this is also a great dupe for a lululemon set that i saw in there the other day which that set was probably the set together maybe 150 dollars and this set maybe 30 dollars because i know this was on sale for 10 i'm gonna say like 20 dollars and i got the biker shorts now in the biker shorts i did get these in a i always get their biker shorts in a large but the more i work out I don't like when my waist get a little loose, so I did get these in a medium. And these are the extra high waist um, biker shorts, and they have like the crisscross, 
when I tell y'all, you look so cute. So I'm thinking we're gonna wear this to the gym this morning. Oh, I can't wear this to the gym because I'm going to yoga and this top will not be yoga friendly. Okay, well, we're gonna wear this one day in this vlog. So I'm gonna link all of these pieces down below and I'm sure you guys are gonna see me try these pieces on because in this vlog, I'm sure we're gonna wear the white top and we're gonna wear this because like I said, y'all know I work out every day. So Wait, I had to show y'all what the dress looked like on. I didn't zip it all the way up in the back because I can't. But oh my God, y'all. This is giving Beyonce freakum dress from that video she did. Oh my God. Can we just have a moment? I wanna see what the 12 will fit like because I do feel like I need a little room around the hip butt area. So hopefully the 12 fits just like this. I like when my dress is cinched in my waist but I also like a little room in the hip area because with hips and butt, it just makes everything look serious a little tight. But I'm also like, okay, I am dropping weight, so do I keep the 10 or the 12? So what I'm thinking about is, with this dress, I don't have to get it altered at all. I'm thinking about, I hope the um, 12 will be a little more loose in the hip area, and then I can get the um, waist pulled in. I love this. She's so good, and I don't know if the color is coming off on camera y'all but this is really good so but i had to show y'all what it looked like on i'm gonna link her down below hey y'all happy sunday i know it's been a minute since y'all seen me with actual hair like because i've been wearing a bob for about a month now uh, it feels it feels different i feel like this hair girl i can only wear her in a do in end up okay because it's too hot let's see how hot it is today i think it's like a hundred at least a hundred today oh 99 um i really wanted to go to brunch but i don't think i'm gonna make it today because today I, oh, did I tell y'all today was Sunday? Today is Sunday. Um, I want to record multiple videos. So I'm gonna just cook at the house. Thank God I have some Prosecchi Yaki Yaki at the house. And yeah, we're gonna just record and edit all day. All day until I can't take no more. It is currently 11.26. I plan to be finished maybe with everything, maybe around 6 p.m. So I'm gonna be recording all day. Right now I'm actually on like a break <laughs> uh, from social media, so you guys are not seeing me. I'm not answering DMs, comments, nothing. I'm on a break. It, it was time, okay? Y'all, this past week was such a good week. I definitely have some things that I need to celebrate because this week was amazing. When I tell y'all God showed up and showed out, yeah, he did that. So this week coming up is going to be so busy. So I know I need to end this vlog sometime this week because this week is going to be so busy. And half of the stuff that I need to do, I just cannot do that in vlog. So, yeah. And, oh, I love that sound. It's just so... <sighs> Can we just talk about the girls who was coming for my neck because I never had um pineapples? They were like, gee, how, how you don't eat fruit? I never said I don't eat fruit. I said I don't eat pineapples, I don't eat bananas, I don't eat strawberries, and I don't eat watermelon, okay? The girls were upset about that, okay? Oh, well. Oh, my God. Y'all, that first sip, ah, it gets me every time. I'm going to see y'all later. Let me get back to work and so I can at least hurry up and try to be finished with this. If I could finish early, whew, we outside. So, see you girls later. Y'all, today is my last day recording on the weekend. I am no longer recording on, well, I never record on Saturday. I am no longer recording on Sundays. Moving forward, I will be, I'm about to change my recording schedule because, yeah. Recording on the weekend just not it for me. I'm up in here, girl, looking at the pool, the pool popping, okay? But I promised myself, I'm like, Jerenica, this upcoming week, it's about to be hectic, so recording during the week is just not going to work for you. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just record on Sunday. The pool popping and the Prosecco, it has kicked in. Yet, I, I'm just, I only recorded one video. I still have one more to go, so it's like, I'm in weekend mode, but I need to be in work mode. It's just, it, they're, they're clashing. I am no longer recording on the weekends, period. Please.
Um, I was going to the gym this morning. I changed my mind. I'm gonna work out in the gym at the gym in my building, and I'm also gonna go outside to the pool to do my morning devotional. So it be hot, y'all. When I say hot, it is hot. So I ordered this umbrella. I want, I'm gonna link this down below. This umbrella is the umbrella that opens up, and it have like this clamp on it. So this clamp can clamp on almost anything. Okay beach chairs baby strollers she's like that girl so i'm gonna keep this also in the car so when i'm like going places for family events girl i can just put this on my chair and we're good so i'm gonna link that down below i've been on amazon literally going through all these umbrellas looking for an umbrella and that's the one that i end up with and i'm actually happy with it because with that one you can also adjust it to change well move wherever the sun goes so yeah i woke up this morning and i was like i don't feel like doing my devotional inside in the mornings i've been trying to like recreate a new morning routine and one of my things that i want to do is start going outside a little more in the morning so especially in the fall in the fall girl, i'm gonna be outside so hold on let me show you my outfit so this is the top i just realized my brightness is very bright hopefully it's not that bright let me show you the biker shorts first these are the biker shorts they do have like the little crisscross in the front which is so cute now these biker shorts are also eight inches it's like perfect for thick thigh girls a thick girl friendly they don't move and keep riding up when you're working out or they're not too short in the back it's perfect and the top like i told y'all it's like a crop top but i like to tuck it in i'm gonna tuck it in in a minute because the, when i tuck it in it looks i cannot do it with one hand it looks a little more clean and put together so this is the top. So the top, Old Navy. The pant, the shorts, Old Navy. I'm gonna put on my gray Nikes just to get the vibe. And hat, little lemon, sunglasses, Fendi. So we're about to go downstairs and do the devotional. And I'll just see you guys later. the dot i just got home i was out just you know minding my business running errands and my energy y'all when i tell y'all low i was like why am i aggravated why do i feel like crying why do i feel sad why is my emotions going crazy so i'm like stop everything i need to go home and take a shower one thing about me y'all y'all when i am aggravated or i'm having a bad day i want to take a shower i want to go home and take a shower one thing about me i'm gonna come home i'm gonna close my blinds i'm gonna make me some tea which i'm about to do right now and i'm going to take a shower so the funny thing is this y'all i got home y'all know last time i talked to y'all was sunday i don't know i did i talk to y'all today i can't remember child Sunday, I'm recording videos, y'all. My microphone broke. I need to record a video today. I'm waiting for Amazon to drop the mic off. Everything is just annoying me, and I'm just like, I just feel like crying. 
as I'm uh, sitting on the couch just now, something said, check your period app. Hold on. Not me starting the water without water in it. Something literally told me, check your period app. Girl, and I was like, oh, my period coming. That's why I'm crazy right now. Girl, when I tell you emotions going left and right, I can't even keep up with them. I'm like, listen, sis, you getting on my nerve. I don't know what else to do to cater to you. As soon as I looked at the app, y'all, I was like, oh, okay. I like to know why I'm being crazy. I don't want to just be out here, emotions going wild. I need to know what is going on. So now that I know what's going on, child, I didn't close my blinds. I'm about to make some tea. I'm going to go to cycle on, um, well, spin at my gym. I couldn't even make it to the gym, y'all. I got all dressed, ready to go to the gym. And I'm in a parking lot, couldn't I get out the car? I just was so emotional. Then I got aggravated. And I'm like, girl, what's going on? So I started doing errands, girl. By the time I got out the shower and I laid on the couch, something told me to check that app. And that's why I'm over here just going crazy. So we about to just watch, I'm binge watching old episodes of New York Housewives because I'm not, if we've been on the show, I tried to give the new girls a chance. They're not catching my attention. To me, it's boring, it's very forced, and I'm just not enjoying the new reboot of the New York Housewives. So I'm watching season seven right now and the old girls baby one thing they're gonna do is give you drama i get it why everybody wanted like a reboot and saying the old girls were like out of touch and they don't really represent like new york today i get it but listen the new girls to me is not giving me good tv that i should just oh my god i have to watch just to see what's going on i don't care about y'all fighting about cheese it's, it's, it's boring if we're being honest so i'm watching the old girls and when i tell y'all i'm over here cackling the stuff they fight about is just so stupid. I just had to come and give y'all an update on my emotional roller coaster of a day. Hopefully, later will be better. It's three. I'm gonna leave the house around 4:30 because I wanna do. A, uh, I like to do like a 30-minute cardio session before my spin classes to kind of like get me activated. So I'm gonna do that and I need to go find kombucha. The one that I told y'all, the health aid belly gut or whatever, my sister got me hooked on this stuff. And now I see why she love it. But the funny thing is this, the, the specific one we like, the pineapple belly gut reset, girl, it's always sold out everywhere. So I'm gonna go to Target before I go to the gym. And all the ones they have on the shelf, I'm buying it. So yeah. Side, baby, you know me better than that. You think I'd leave you down when you're down on your knees? Hold on, y'all. I also have something that I wanted to share with you guys. Can y'all believe if you've been here a while? Hold on, let me sit on the floor. But y'all know if you met well, if you met me, if you've been here for a few years, y'all remember I got these cases with my sunglasses in them. That's one case. Mm-hmm. She's full. And I told myself I've been needing a new case, y'all, for about a year now. But I told myself, you're not buying a new case, so I started to sell sunglasses. Now I'm down to every single pair of sunglasses I have, I actually wear them. So I got a new pair of sunglasses that I think you guys would enjoy. Can we just get into these? It is the brown and the red. Y'all know I told y'all I don't like brown tinted frames. But these, I think I like them because the tint is very, very light. Are you just getting into this detail, the red and the brown? I think I paid like $10 for these from Amazon. They are linked below. Oh, these are gonna be so good for um fall, but they're good for now too. Can we just, mm-hmm, <laughs> yes. Are you, are you getting into this? I had these on this morning at the pool and somebody was like, where did you get your glasses? Girl, I sent her the link ASAP. Now, these do come in black and they come in green. To me, the black and the green do look a little cheap. Now, these are very, I don't wanna say they're cheaply made, they're plastic, so they're very lightweight. But these things, y'all, they are gorgeous. They look so good with makeup on. Are you seeing this? Mm-hmm. She's good, huh? 
pick them up sis you need them um and also while i'm at it i just finished ordering another um case because in this case i only have one more slot and i have a pair of sunglasses well, that slot is already filled because i have a pair of sunglasses that's gonna come i believe tomorrow i'm not ending this vlog out until those glasses come because y'all have to see them if you know what glasses i've been on a hunt for if you know what glasses i've been trying to get my hands on and i told you i'm not paying for a price for them guess who got them for 140 dollars what me she did if you already know you know if you watch my videos you know all right y'all let me go because my tea is ready and i still want to chill out before i have to leave the house um and go to spin class tonight's spin class is a barbie theme um it's Nicki minaj barbie theme so tonight i believe i'm gonna wear my pink that pink set that i got from Oh Navy, we gonna wear that tonight for the Barbie theme uh, cycle ride. So most likely that's the next time I'm gonna see you guys when we are on our way out the door. Trader Joe's because y'all know my flowers are dead. I don't feel like fighting with no flowers, so I think I'm gonna just get some baby breaths for the um front room because they always last. Oh my god, that class tore me apart. Okay, so oh my god, y'all, my legs they don't even feel like noodles, they are burning. My legs, my butt, my abs burning. Okay, like. Oh my god so i'm about to take a shower and i need to take a bath so i can do epsom salt um i ordered this from amazon at the beginning of the week and y'all this thing has saved my life because even though i do stretches before my workouts and after baby i was one day i did leg day but i did like a boot camp at my gym it, it was it was it was real so i end up ordering this thing y'all when i tell you i'm gonna link it down below i think it was like 20 dollars. she's my best friend and you just oh i'm definitely about to do it on my leg oh my god look at that when i tell you i'm about to sit on this couch we're about to watch um sex in the city reboot i forgot the name of it um just like that i don't know i'm gonna link this down below this one, I'm about to take a shower and do that. But I did stop at Trader Joe's. Y'all know those flowers on the table. Oh, they dead. And I do not like seeing dead flowers. So this week, I'm going to do um, baby breaths because I love the way they smell. And they're not high maintenance. I could keep my blinds closed. Y'all, I love the sound of rain. It's raining. And yeah, I don't have to worry about these dying super fast. I got some chips for my dip, my salsa, which I'm not eating tonight. I may have that over the weekend and i have been on the hunt this is garlic oh this camera this is garlic olive oil now listen hear me out i have been seeing all of the health girlies because i follow all of the health girlies on like tiktok and instagram just for their meal preps and their workouts i see all of the girlies seasoning their vegetables and stuff with garlic uh, uh, olive oil garlic olive oil so I'm like, okay, I need to try some. Then I go to a restaurant, y'all, and this pasta was so good. One of the best pastas I've ever tasted in my life. But it was a special just for that day. And the chef was only cooking it that day. So I can't go back and get it. And I'm like, oh my God. So y'all know me, I'm a foodie. I told that girl, I said, hey, can I place an order to go? Yeah, I need one to go. 
So I guess the chef was like, who is ordering two at this table of one person? So girl, the chef come out and he just talking to me and I was like, this flavor is just crazy. I'm a sucker for pasta. He told me, he's like, I'm gonna tell you the key, one of the key ingredients that help increase the flavor in all of the seasonings. He told me it was garlic olive oil and I went to the store to get it and it was $17, $16.99, I said, uh-uh. Y'all, olive oil is high, okay? So I, I just was in Trader Joe's and something told me, look and see if they have it. $4.99, my type of price. So hopefully it tastes good. If not, if I don't like the flavor, I'm gonna have to go ahead and pay that $16 for the other one. But I'm gonna keep y'all updated. Girl, just a quick update. Today I went to Sam's and I picked up a rotisserie chicken and I pretty much pulled some of it apart and I'm gonna leave this in the fridge overnight because I'm making um, quesadillas with that those car, low carb balance tortillas that I always sh show y'all, which if you are on a weight loss or trying to be healthy, those are amazing. But y'all, this right here, the garlic olive oil, oh my God, y'all, this chicken is so good. And the flavor and the smell, oh my God, it's just everything. So 10 out of 10, would definitely recommend. These are the car balance tortillas that I've, I'm always talking about. Y'all, you can cook so many different healthy options with this. Like I told y'all, I do tuna wraps, I do chicken wraps, breakfast wraps. You can do so many things with these and they're so good. So. How many calories? It's literally 45 calories. So tomorrow I'm gonna make quesadillas and look how small it is. It's like, it's perfect. You can get the larger ones, but I like to get the smaller ones because it's just the perfect um, size. It's good, I believe keto friendly. Listen, pick these up, highly recommend. If you thought I was disturbed before, baby boy, I'm gonna disturb you, no. Can we please just give Nicole, honey, the best dress on the show? When I don't know who is her stylist, but I need to go find out because the way this woman give us fashions in every single episode, girl, Sex in the City, who, okay? It is her show. I look forward to seeing her fashions every single week. Like, oh my gosh, she is bringing it. Good morning, girlfriends. So it is morning. And I'm not showing y'all my face. I'm drinking my morning green tea. I just had breakfast. Um, I'm trying to see. I don't think y'all gonna see me for a few hours because I'm on my way to cycle again because girl, that class last night was so good. So this morning they have a recovery ride. It's gonna be like very smooth, a nice, cool little playlist. Y'all, yesterday, y'all know when I got home, I showed y'all that gun. When I tell y'all I woke up this morning, I'm not sore, I feel great. But my butt is on fire. It's so sore because that bike, girl, that bike was killing me. So the thing is this. I forgot my seat at home. I purchased this seat from Marshalls years ago. And anytime I go to a cycle class, I just take it with me. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's so padded and cushioned. It's like this gel. Oh, my God. This nail is broken. It is killing me. Oh, it's like this gel memory foam. Girl, and it go all the way to the front so nothing will be hurting. I forgot the seat at home and girl, I'm hurting. So I'm putting this right here with my water because I'm about to go to um, the recovery class this morning. Y'all, I'm on my way out the door. Why I just opened up my balcony? Because y'all know I went out there to drink my green tea. Girl, I had to make a second cup. Why? It feels so good outside. There's a breeze. It's not humid. I said, girl, what? do we need to go for a walk before we go to um, class? Um, I'm not even about to show y'all what I had on because I know y'all probably tired of seeing G in workout clothes. I told y'all, this is literally my life. The first thing I do in the morning when I wake up, I do my devotional. I might cook breakfast depending on if I'm hungry. I'm going to put on some workout clothes and I'm going to go work out. One thing I do need to do, I need to um, divide my workout clothes because I'm starting to realize some of my workout clothes is good for fall, winter, and some of them is good for... Um, spring summer and I, it's time for me to start revamping my fall winter look because in the fall and winter I only wear 
black but i'm not about to show y'all what i got on because it don't matter got my water <laughs> got my seat and yeah uh girl i wanted to go to lululemon because the lululemon hat y'all the lululemon hat baby i got the black and the white why they have blue they have hot pink they have a lot of different colors why they on sale for twenty dollars but i know it's not going to be in stock in my store i just have a feeling so i'm gonna go look at my store and if they're not in stock i'm gonna just go ahead and get the ones um online if i can i'm gonna link those down below but yeah girl let's go also if you're a workout girly i would highly recommend you run out to marshall's right now to get this bag y'all remember i showed y'all this bag in my last vlog it's a great dupe for the lululemon bag i did return the lululemon bag and purchase this one for 13 dollars it holds all of my things my workout gloves earphones card holder lip gloss if you needed to put like feminine products in here it holds everything and it also has a zip on the bag i would recommend this desire or plans to walk this morning but once i felt that it was cool y'all the wind is blowing yeah we're walking so instead of going to spin that i thought i was gonna do the recovery ride I, i'm walking because y'all know that even at the beginning of the vlog i was telling y'all how i really been wanting to walk but it's been so hot y'all it feels so good outside back home and i stopped to home not home goods whole foods girl the kombucha was fully in stock so i got these the ginger pineapple belly reset which girl i love these my sister she loved this one she the one who put me on these because i used to drink a different um brand but now i'm hooked on a health aid so i'm gonna stick to those but she told me to try this one so hopefully i like it if i don't i won't get this one so i got three of those one of these and i actually got her a few too so oh and my mic girl the mic finally came so i'm about to actually record ooh, 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 ooh. I just got a package went downstairs to pick this up and it is a pair of sunglasses y'all oh my god these are the saint laurent 545 sunglasses i have been on the hunt for these for months at least two months at this point every time i would order them off of a website they would never ship because these glasses were on back order and then saint laurent put these back in stock for 505 but I could have purchased them from Saint Laurent, but I'm like, why would I purchase purchase these glasses at retail when Essence and Fashion File, these glasses are always on sale. But the thing is this, they're hard to get because if you purchase them, they're gonna give you an order number. The, the sunglasses will never ship because they're on back order. Girl, so I'm scrolling on eBay one day and a seller that I usually come across, she usually have good things, but this is my first time ordering from her. She had these sunglasses, y'all, for $140. Can we just talk about it? <gasps> y'all, the condition of the glasses are great. Of course, I have to like clean them. Oh my God. I hope they look even better on me because I'm nervous. Cause I'm like, oh, my face is so round that sometimes, oh my God, y'all. I love these sunglasses. You can't really see because they have a glare. Hold on. Y'all, I love these sunglasses. Ignore all of my mess, I'm packing. Wow, these are so good. And I love me a tinted lens. Now with these, these are the perfect lens lenses for fall because you know for fall, I love wearing sunglasses, but I also like to wear indoor sunglasses. So these are literally lightly tinted. Most of the sunglasses I was seeing, they had like this very yellow tint or a orange tint. I'm not a yellow or orange tinted type of girl. So these 
are perfect. Everything that I have been looking for, especially when I put on makeup, they're gonna be great. I'm happy I, I got them for uh, the low too. When I tell y'all my anxiety start jumping again, one thing about me, when I have like a busy week ahead of me, I feel like I get overwhelmed, especially when I have something to do and I have to, I wanna execute it the same way I have it vision in my mind. So right now, next week is gonna be such a busy week for me, y'all. I have some great opportunities. Um, Y'all, just send me love, light, and all of the prayers, okay? I know I'm gonna execute everything that I need to do. It's just, I next week, literally from Sunday to probably Sunday, I'm gonna be so busy, but it's a good busy because I prayed for this. And now I just have to step in my purpose and be like, girl, you prayed for this, so you got this. If God allowed you to get here, he's gonna get you through it, okay? So all I have to do is pack, oh my God, the packing process. I ain't gonna lie, the packing process right now, I have one, two, three, four. I have four looks. I have to pack a whole lot more than that, but I got this. I got this. Send me love and light because I need it. Girl, it's later in the day yet again. Every time I come to you, I feel like it's always something. This vlog is literally all over the place. Y'all remember earlier I told y'all um, I had to babysit for my sister. She was like, I don't have to have the kids at my house. And when she said that, I said, mm, okay, what, what you need me to do? So she told me all I have to do is sit in the car while she do what she have to do long as I'm in air and the kid is pretty quiet usually he's a talker he be he be running it but he's real quiet so he's back there minding his business and I'm up here minding mine um we probably I hope we go get something to eat y'all because I am hungry okay I need some food I'm semi done packing uh I have to stop to TJ Maxx because I need some new toiletry bags because the one I have is not big enough anymore so I want to stop and pick up a they have like these different sets. I need a set for like hair tools, hair products, makeup, and all that type of stuff. So that's the update, y'all. I'm not doing nothing. I'm sitting in the car babysitting. And this is my type of babysitting. The kid is pretty much babysitting himself. Because the thing about Stephanie kids, y'all, one of them, she will tell you about yourself, okay? She will talk, talk, talk. She came to my house, that girl had the nerve to ask me, Gigi, why do you have so many lamps? Now I looked around, I said, ain't that many? She said, it's a lot. She literally made me walk around. So I start counting. I'm like, well, damn. I do got, there's 10 lamps in one apartment. And I'm like, how did you realize that? She said, because I'm a small girl and I can count. So she real smart by the mouth. And this one back here, oh, he's real active. To say he can't say nothing, he be having a lot to say. So, yeah. oh, look, he's getting riled up. Anytime he hear you talking, he think it's time to talk. So... This right here, I could babysit in the car because clearly kids like being in a car. But some reason, when the kids get in my house, it's it's a different story. I, 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 we're just not meshing. So that's the update, girl. I'm not doing nothing. I'm in a car. Can y'all tell I love the glasses already? Girl. Hey, y'all. I am back home, girl. So I'm about to end out this vlog because I really need to focus on what I'm doing. Um, so one thing I picked up, I actually got two of these and they were $7.99. This is roll and pack airtight storage bags. Now, I, this right here, I've been needing this y'all for years. So hopefully she works. And I got all of these little bags right here. So, yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Oh my God. So y'all know those bags? This right here is literally four looks in this bag. Four looks. And you just sit, oh my God. Girl, not me about to go buy another pack of these for $7. Y'all, this is four outfits in here. Four outfits in my suitcase would be a mess. This alone is four outfits. It was so easy to pack them, and I was like, this is not gonna work. The instructions on the outside, and they said when you, um, to take, to take this out, you don't cut it, you just unzip it. But girl, I just rolled it up, and then you just, are you seeing this? Four outfits. I'm lost for words.